Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn a method to find square root using estimation. Now when we use this method, we must know that the number for which we are trying to find square root is a perfect square. And if we know that it is a perfect square, then we can find the square root using estimation method. Let's first write the squares of numbers 1 to 9. And we'll also write the last digit. So this is square and this is last digit. And we have already seen the pattern. The pattern is the numbers which are pair of 10s, so 1 and 9 have the same last digit, 1. 2 and 8 have the same last digit. 3 and 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. So they are pair of 10. They have same last digit. So we know already this pattern. We also know that 9 is largest single digit number and his square is 81 which is a two digit number. So the max square of a single digit number is two digit number. So we are going to use this information. Let's find square root of 676. We are going to split this number into two numbers. We'll Take the last two digits away and the remaining one. So in this case, now what has happened is we have two numbers. We have 76 and we have 6. Now in this, look at the last digit. Look at the last digit. Last digit is 6. And look in our table here. Where is the last digit 6? So it is here and here for 4 and 6. So the last digit of our square root is going to be either 4 or 6. Because the last digit of the square number is 6, the last digit of the square root would be 4 or 6. Because in 4 square and 6 square, the last digit is 6. So we solved one small thing. Now let's look at the other number which is 6 and find a square number okay now it is we are finding a square number which is closest to 6 but not greater than 6 closest but not greater than so which is the closest square number 4 is the closest square number and what is the square root of 4 2 in that case the first digit of our square root is going to be 2 why? Because the perfect square which is not greater than 6 but closest to 6 is 4 and square root of 4 is 2 and that 2 becomes our first digit of the square root. So 676 is square of either 24 or 26. Now how to find which one of them? There is a method. We got this 2. What is the successor of 2? 3. Multiply 2 with 3. How much do we get? We get 6. Now we have to compare this result with our this number. How do we compare? We, we look at is my number is my number 6 here is smaller than this? Is it smaller than this? Yes or no? No, because it is same, equal. It is not smaller. If it is not smaller, then the bigger of these two numbers is my square root. And if it is, if my number is smaller, then the smaller. So in this case now, square root of 676 is 26. Let's take one more example. I am taking 576. I am deliberately taking this 576 so that the smaller bigger will understand it better. I will divide this into two numbers 76 and 5. I will look at the last digit. Last digit is 6 which means where it is it comes in 4 and it comes in 6 square. So last digit of my number is going to be 4 or 6. 
Now let's look at the first digit 5 which is the square number closest to 5 but not greater than 5. 4 and which is the square root of 4? 2 which means first digit of my number is 2. So 24 or 26. Now what we do? We take this 2 and multiply with the successor. 2 into 3 we get 6. Now this 6 we have to compare with our 5. So my number, is it smaller than this number? The number which I got by multiplying. Is my number smaller than this number? Yes, 5 is smaller than 6. Hence the square root is 24. The smaller of these. Because my number is smaller than this, the answer is the smaller number out of these. So square root of 576 is 24. Let's take one more. Let's take a number 1089. Now we will split the number into two numbers. Last two digits 89 and 10. The last digit. Look at the last digit. Last digit is 9. So where does 9? 9 is here in the last digit which is square root is 3. And 3 and 7. So last digit of my square root has to be 3 or 7. Now look at 10. 10. A perfect square which is close, closest to 10 but less than 10. It is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So first digit of my number is going to be 3. So I have two numbers 33 or 37. Now I take this 3 multiply with Successive number 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Now compare my number with 12. Is my number smaller than 12? Yes, it is smaller. Hence the answer is the smaller one. 33. So square root of 1089 is 33. Let's take one more. Let's take a number. 2. 304. Split it into two numbers. So we'll have 04 and 23. Look at the last digit. Last digit is 4, which means 2 or 8. Last digit of our square roots are going to be 2 or 8. Now look at 23. Find a square which is closest but smaller than 23. 25 is closest but 25 is not smaller so we'll go to 16. 16 is smaller than 23. So square root of 16 is 4. So our numbers are 42 or 48. We'll take 4 out and we'll multiply it with the successor. 4 5s are 20. Now look at our number. Is 23 smaller than 20? No, it is not smaller. So we will go to the greater number and hence square root of 2304 is 48. You may find this method a little tricky at the beginning but you practice you will be able to find the square root even mentally. You will even don't need to do any calculations here. And even if you do calculations, still the time taken would be very, very small. So do practice this method so that you will be able to do it faster. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the YouTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.